everyone, this is Kelly and I am back with a Rainbow Distress Oxide ink card. And I'm topping that card off with the Hexagon Plate Cover Plate dies from Honeybee Stamps. Um, starting out with Peacock Feathers, I am blending those colors on with a um, ink blender and... Um, some Nina cardstock. Now I do not prefer Nina cardstock when it comes to Distress Oxide inks, but that's the paper that I picked up. So I really had to muscle this color on. Um, you can see I'm just going over and over it to get it smooth. If you use other types of cardstock, you have um, a better chance of getting a smooth blend. I like Bristol cardstock. Um, to use with Distress Oxide inks, but I had already started with this cardstock, and so I am just going to work ahead and um, just make it all work out. So using those three colors, I'm making a rainbow, and that yellow in the middle is going to blend with the pink and the peacock feathers there to make orange and green. Now I cut out two of those hexagon um, cover plates and I'm going to crisscross them. So make them kind of go opposite of one another if that makes sense and it makes this beautiful design. I cut out the large scripty hello from the uh, hello buzzwords uh, die set. This die set comes with that scripty word and then two different shadows. So you have a shadow or a background that would go right behind that scripty word. And then there's a larger one that has a pierced edge to it. So a lot of bang for your buck there with all of those um, Honeybee Stamps word dies. I just love those. I am going to also use the Remarkable You stamp set because I love the font of the word sweetheart. So this, the whole greeting is going to say, hello, sweetheart. And I embossed the word sweetheart onto just a strip of white cardstock. And I'm going to adhere that on that rainbow background as well. I just put some Nouveau Clearmark ink onto that black hello and then took black embossing powder and embossed that to make it nice and shiny. I'm going to pop this onto some black cardstock and you can see that black just peeks out um, right from underneath that um, cover plate die and the rainbow background that is just slightly smaller than an A2 card base. I'm going to maneuver this little hello so it kind of goes in and out of that little sweetheart embossed greeting there and I'm going to use a pin blade to make sure that it gets stuck down in there and that it's not messing up any of my design with that super thin blade and I do stick those letters down and get those L's right in place um, by using liquid adhesive and then I use an acrylic block to set on top of that and let everything dry. To decorate the inside of this card and because the cardstock that I chose was black, I cut a white piece of cardstock using the Honeybee Stamps rectangle, uh, the stitched rectangle dies, and I'm inking that Zen floral border stamp there with those same three Distress Oxide inks, and I blended the yellow over the two ends so I get the same blend as I did on the front of the card. It gives me somewhere to write my message and then also brings that rainbow design into the front of the card. And I finished everything off with a few of the rainbow rhinestone jewels. I just adhered those with my little pickup stick and some liquid adhesive. And I love the way those jewels pick up the different colors on the front of that card. All the supplies can be found in the description box below and are from honeybeestamps.com. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.